Hundreds of trucks were seen queuing on the Lena Highway in Amur region and neighboring Sakayakudia after heavy snowfall drastically worsened road conditions. Local authorities had to close the highway near the Nagorni settlement in Sakayakudia, which stopped traffic completely. The continuous snowfall and steep drop in temperatures over the weekend trapped many vehicles on the way to Yakutia from the Trans-Siberian Highway with some of them sliding into ditches. Rescue services arranged heating stations for drivers and helped them to tow their stalled cars. The highway was reopened later on Tuesday. В результате ограничения движения возле населенного пункта Нагорный Нюрнгринского района наблюдается скопление грузового автотранспорта более 230 единиц техники на протяжении 9 километров трассы. Водителям подготовить транспортные средства для движения в сложных условиях. Данным управлением ЧЕД России по Амурской области организовала работу мобильного и подвижных пунктов обогрева для обеспечения водительского состава всем необходимым. Работы будут продолжены до завершения и стабилизации обстановки. Eighteen North Korean soldiers have fled from Russian positions between Russia's Bryansk and Kursk regions near the Ukrainian border. This was reported by Ukrainian media outlets on Tuesday with reference to a Ukrainian intelligence source. According to the intelligence source, the motives for the soldiers' desertion was unknown, and that Russian military command has begun searching for the fleeing North Koreans. It added that Russian commanders in the area were trying to cover up the incident and to hide it from higher command. The fleeing North Korean soldiers had served at the base of Russian Army's 11th Separate Airborne Assault Brigade. The estimated number of personnel in this battalion is approximately 3,000. A Ukrainian military intelligence representative said earlier that several thousand North Korean infantrymen are currently training in Russia and could be deployed to Ukraine's front lines by late 2024 or to Russia's border regions to free up Russian reserves for combat operations in Ukraine. According to the Institute of Study of War, three or four engineering brigades of the North Korean army might have been stationed to Russia. It should be noted that in early October, a missile strike by Ukrainian forces near the temporarily occupied Donetsk killed six North Korean officers. The latest report of North Korean soldiers abandoning their positions follows Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's overnight video address on Monday. In his speech, Zelensky claimed that North Korea provides the Russian army not only with weapons and ammunition but also with military personnel. Reports of North Korean soldiers' presence within the Russian army first surfaced on October 8, when South Korean Defense Minister Kim Jong-hyun warned that North Korea could send its troops to Ukraine to support Russia. Kremlin spokesperson Peskov had rejected Minister Jong-hyun's statement as fake news.